User joined your channel. Hey, hello. How we doing? Not too bad. Just went live here. Already? Not just went live. So. Oh, sorry about that. Oh yeah, no, no, no problem. Okay, we should be live here. Everyone playing uh, Minecraft here again tonight. Uh, as the title says, we're hopefully going to be uh, working on that uh, nuclear reactor here some more. So. Again, this is the Direwolf 20 mod pack. I believe I'm the only, yeah, I'm the only one on here at the moment. And Nekum, hey Caleb, uh, joined in TeamSpeak by uh, Tanker and Corey. Oh, there's a naked sheep out here. Naked sheep. Actually, why is, oh, the naked sheep should be in the pen. Oh, huh, okay. <laughs> why is the naked sheep not in the pen? Oh... Uh, let's see what's here. Oh well, we'll uh, we'll let the naked sheep go, I guess. There should be uh two. There was two sheeps in the pen at one time. Oh well. Hey Majestic Gaming. <laughs> Hello RDL and gaming. Hey Caleb. Hey Greg. Hey Brady. Uh blue and oil line on our sprayer today. Ooh, that's never good. Never good. So yeah, anyway, for those of you who missed it, we built uh, this here ooh, a few episodes back on the live stream here. Got a big uh, reactor going here. It's been running for quite some time. Seems to be doing uh, good. Making 30,000 RF a tick. We are simply just trash canning that uh, RF. Uh, for those of you not familiar with extreme reactors, there's a reason I'm running this. Uh, that's because with extreme reactors, uh, you put uh, eulorium in or uranium, and then you get something back out. Uh, what is it called here? It used to be plutonium. I don't know if it's still called that. I uh, don't see that. Let's look here a minute. That extreme. It is now called, okay, it's called cyanite. So you get cyanite ingots back out of it. And those are used to make the second tier, uh, or what I call the second tier of the reactor here. So that's obviously going to be the idea here. Oh, Majestic Gaming, what's up? Oh, let's see what's here. Blue sky. Plain blue sky. Uh, Jake, when is the last time your FS-17 quit without warning? Uh, just a couple days ago. Uh, well, a couple days ago on startup. I don't know that I've had it happen while actually playing the game, but a couple days ago on startup, I had it happen. Uh, downloading a couple of new mods there. User left your channel. Okay, so anyway, let's uh, teleport over to the new reactor location here. Uh, I think it was the last Saturday there, if you recall. We built this great big... Uh, limestone pad here to uh, put ourselves a nice nuclear reactor on. Oh, like Spike. And then we also <laughs> found out it makes a great mob spawner underneath here too. So, yeah. Okay, Majestic Gaming. Uh, just a reminder here too, by the way, if you'd like to join us on uh, TeamSpeak or uh, Minecraft server, farming sim servers, any of that stuff, uh, please join us on the TeamSpeak server there. Uh, again, you can find that information in the description below. So, let's get started here. I'm thinking maybe about the middle of this pad here, somewhere about. Yeah, this looks close enough to the middle. Uh, Jake, so it quit even though it didn't crash. Not sure I quite understand what you mean there, Jake. Ah, light out. Much better. Yeah, Alex, like this looks like to be about the middle. So uh, off screen there, let me clean up my inventory here, get rid of that, uh, that, 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 and that. And I don't need a redstone lamp. I don't know why I have that. So yes, I told it to make a bunch of uh, reactor components here. Let's see, did it uh, make this? Oop. I got 1,000 reactor casings. So good. That should be enough to last a while. I don't remember how big you can make one of these reactors. So we're just going to start out probably like 32 by 32. So I'm going to have to like count. You know what? I got a ruler. Let's uh, let's get a ruler out here. Ruler. Tape measure. I call it tape measure. Fine. Tape measure. If I go... Let's uh... We put one here. And we'll just measure this out here a minute. Uh, 
kind of face around this way so I can actually... Uh, there we go. 32 should be right there. Double check this. So going from the end of that block... To the end of that block. Uh, I don't know why it says... Oh, it's down two. Okay, that's why. That should be 32 there. And then we'll just uh, do the same thing here. Going this way. Hey, Reese. 32 meters out this way. Yeah, like I said, I don't remember if you can be 32 or 64. So we're going to find out here. That way. That should be good. Clear that. And then lots of building in between here. Starting to wonder. I made a thousand of these. I don't know if a thousand... Oh, there we go. Uh, it's going to actually be enough now that I think about this. Because it's going to be... Uh, a half a stack per row. That's two rows. So we're going to need like 16 stacks of these here just to finish this. I uh, might have enough for this. Uh-oh. Nightbot got ya. User joined your channel. Hello. More uh, reactor casings here. And my builder's wand, of course. <laughs> Greg, if the uh, reactor blows up, the hole will be massive. Yeah, fortunately with these reactors, the extreme reactors, uh, I don't believe they can blow up that I know of. I guess if I'm wrong, we're going to find out, and there's going to be a big hole. But, uh... I don't think they do, if I remember correctly. About... There we go. So yeah, that, that should be a massive, massive reactor. We're going to find out if this is valid or not. And... I don't remember how tall. If anybody watching knows how big you can build one of these, let me know. But uh, I'm going to get... It's either 16 high? Not sure on that. We're going to find out, I guess. So again, we need some more. Oh, I actually used them all up too, didn't I? So almost, uh, uh, was that over seven, eight hundred reactor casings here? Yep, definitely gonna need some more. Definitely gonna need some more casings here. So where's crafting recipe? We're gonna need. We're just gonna kick off a bunch here. How about uh, how about two thousand? That that sounds like two thousand forty-eight. That sounds like a good number. Start. Uh, Jake. Then your game quits without warning. That was the first time I had that. Uh. Jake, you tried out the John Deere two-cylinder tractor, the uh, 730 wide front diesel with 8350-seater. Parked it to check one of your workers. Hopped back on. Quits without warning. <laughs> Harambe came just because there was nuclear in the title. Yes, nuclear reactors. Who doesn't like nuclear reactors, right? Okay, is that 16? I'm going to use the ruler to measure this here again. That is 14. Nope, eight, two more. Okay. That is 16. User joined your channel. Hello. The reactor doesn't form here, then I know I don't have something set up right, or it's too big. I think there's actually a config in the file for this. I should probably actually go look to see if I can figure out how big it lets you build them. Go. Yeah, not sure what to say there, Jake. Uh, the only reason I had my game quit here a couple days like uh, ago, like I said, I uh, extracted some mods using WinRAR. And uh, when I did that, it did not put a date on the mod file, so there's no date on it. Apparently, Farming Simulator does User not like it when a mod time folder time. does not have a date on it. User entered your channel. Apparently, that's a bad thing. User disconnected from your channel. Hello, goodbye. Of 
course, we'll have to make everything else that goes along with this reactor here as well. Uh, JQU's 7-zip. Yeah, I, I doubt that has anything to do with your problem. Because, like I said, if the mod folder does not have a date on it, uh, you know, a date stamp, uh, like I said, Farming Simon just instantly crashes when you try to load it. It's a rather uh, annoying and perplex a perplexing problem because it doesn't actually tell you what's wrong. It just uh, loads the mods and then immediately crashes. Okay, there we go. There's the basic frame of it here. Now we need uh, control rods, uh, reactor glass, eh, a whole bunch of stuff. So do I have this on auto craft? I do not. You know what? We're going to set up an auto crafting recipe here for reactor glass. Wait, well, loads, waiting. There we go. Uh, by the way, if you're new to the uh, Minecraft series and you have not seen my house here so far, this is uh, what it looks like once it uh, all loads in. It's not exactly all furnished or anything like that. And look out for the booby trap at the front door. Uh, Harami, what do you think of the FS19 trailer? John Deere in uh, Farming Simulator. Oh, I think it's good. Definitely cool. Definitely cool. Uh, you looked on the TeamSeek server. Didn't see the Minecraft server. Uh, it's uh, There's the Minecraft channel. Uh, this is a whitelisted server, so you do have to ask to join. So if you want to join, you got to be on when I'm on and ask. Hey, Dawson. Uh, Jake, you tried course play recently. Can't figure it out. Set up for the drivers to do some runarounds, then back and forth. Uh, well, uh, Jake, if you've never used course play before, I suggest you check out my how-to videos on it then. I got a whole uh, playlist dedicated to that. Okay, so we want some reactor glass. Clear out that recipe. And put that one in. Uh, Ben, you didn't know I played Minecraft? Oh, yeah. I have played a lot of Minecraft. And by Minecraft, I mean modded Minecraft. Just regular Minecraft is kind of uh, uh, lame. Boring. My, uh, modded Minecraft, though, if you ask me, is a lot of fun. Especially, you know, uh, look out for the gun turrets up top here. I think the uh, I think they're out of shotgun shells at the moment, though. Yeah, they're a little out of shotgun shells. I do actually have them on auto craft. Uh, let's see here. Teleport back to the nuclear reactor. Uh, just a reminder, by the way, we are streaming on both YouTube and Twitch here. By the way. So if you want to watch over on Twitch, which I would argue is probably a little bit better viewing experience, you can. Hey, James. Hey, uh, Viaduct. User left your channel. Okay, let's see what's here. Reactor glass. It is working on crafting more uh, casings. They're up to 792 there. This should be a pretty quick craft here because it's just using glass and the reactor casings. Hey, farm vloggers. And like I was saying there a moment ago, again, if you'd like to uh, join us on the multiplayer servers here, just uh, please join us on TeamSpeak. There we go. Hey, farm vloggers. Uh, Jake, you plan on using it mostly for cultivating, plowing, some seeding, unloading the combine? Almost thought of AI extension, but I don't know if it would conflict with something. Uh, AI extension, yeah, you shouldn't have a problem with that. Uh, farm vloggers, I'm doing good. 
yeah, hopefully everyone's having a good Thursday here so far. Oh, what's up with the sky? Going <laughs> weird colors here. Uh-oh. Sky is supposed to change weird colors like that? Okay, then. Not sure what's up with the weirdness there, but... Uh, Dawson, you think there'll be a John Deere cotton picker as well? I don't know. Kind of curious about that as well. Uh, you know, I'm not sure, too. Like, uh, the cotton harvesters they showed there, they kind of look like the uh, baling types. So, you know, they have different types of cotton harvesters. Because you got the uh, cotton harvesters that, uh, as far as I know, uh, bale the cotton. They put it in a great big bale. And then you got the ones that basically got a bin on them, too, that, uh, well, just have it stored in a bin. Okay. Definitely gonna need a lot more reactor glass here, by the way. That's in, uh, that's all I can go. Oh, why is this not building up? Hello. Because Minecraft's a horrible game. Wait, what? You wanted to join? User joined your channel. I just don't know what's fun, do you? Hello, Pesta. Hello. Hello. Ah, uh, joined by uh, my brother John on the server here. Did you show him the pictures? Um, I did not. I should show him those. <laughs> yes. Can do with anchovies? No, no, no. It's something to uh, kill PCs with, though. Nope, definitely not. User joined your channel. Uh, farm bloggers, can you do a giveaway again sometime? Well, it's a good thing you mentioned that, because... No, let's see. Let's, let me face this way. That one right there will be uh, doing the giveaway here on this uh, weekend. Those are the uh, videos for those of you who've seen those on the uh, channel. No, John, I'm hauling a, uh, a 25 millimeter U.S. Navy gun turret. Can that take a detour? That's what I said. Okay. Do you know my shipping address? Sure. Are you going to pay for the shipping? Uh, I might have, I'm maybe kin for that one. They said it needed to be tested, right? I mean, I, I can definitely handle that. Yeah, they want it tested. I got some, uh, I can get some lovely consoles we can, uh, try shooting them at. How about some, uh, green stuff? Uh, Dawson, hope they insert the older John Deere tractors from the 80s and 90s. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see what, uh, is available for that. This looks like a hole over here. What's up with this? There's a hole. Hello. Hello. Uh, there's something wrong here somewhere. Well, yeah, John, I sent Randy uh, pictures of this thing on my trailer. There we go. Oh, cool. I told him the other reason why, why I like it is I'm be uh, discouraging people from uh, tailgating me also. <laughs> oh, that would definitely do it. Definitely. I've, I've had eight cars today, like, come alongside me and also hit their brakes to slow down to take a picture. <laughs> oh, you actually got it out, too? They didn't make you tarp it? No, they don't want it tarp because the shielding's uh, made out of some carbon fiber or some, something and they don't want it scratched. Oh. Uh, Jake, left control V didn't work for the haybind and multiplayer. Uh, Jake, we actually got it to work. Uh, it only works with some tractors, though. That's the key. Uh, the tractors we had, some of the old iron tractors, none of the tractors we had worked with it. Uh, we ended up buying a in-game New Holland, and then it worked. New Holland, good tractor. Yeah, nonsense. I thought you had John Deere's for tractors. Got a painted boy. Hey. 
and I only use them at night. Oh, let's see what's here. What do I need? Uh, one, uh, four more stacks of glass here. We almost got it built up. And then I still need reactor control rods. I guess I should have... I thought, you know, about a thousand uh, reactor casings would be enough. I guess I was way off on that number. You missed a spot. Uh, Jake, you tried it on the 12, 56, 706, and 806. 806 worked for you. Uh, would like to see a West Coast or Sandy Bay. I believe we've done both of those maps, if I remember correctly. Yeah, you have. That's what I thought. But like I told you, Randy, I do haul some interesting stuff doing oversized, don't I? Uh, oh, definitely. No John Deere's yet. I almost had I almost had a uh, versatile for a loop. Oh. They don't want to come up on the price price to ship it. Oh. Okay, two more stacks yet. Two more stacks. Uh, Jake, you saw Corn Belt was added, and you guys are adding big equipment. Oh, yes, Jake, we got some big plans for Server 1. Big plans, big plans. Okay, Farm Vloggers, you have to go. No, no green things on Server 1, right? Oh, there are going to be lots of green things. Big green things. Uh, I'm never joining. Hey, Day Sabi. Our vloggers, you really enjoy it. Reactor glass. Okay, we got one stack. I need a little more yet. Uh, DJ Labalti, doing good. I keep telling you, you're going to miss a spot. You think so? Uh, I'm doing good. A little bit more yet. Okay, there we go. That should do it for the sides. Perfect. What are you, build what are you building? A massive, massive nuclear reactor. Still? Still. Well, this thing's big. You gonna, you gonna put a button on it for it to go boom? Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think these can blow up that I know of. And that, that's probably actually a fortunate thing, not an unfortunate thing, but... Oh, I don't have these on AutoCraft either. Oh, yeah. Slacking here. Slacking. Uh, with my EOD training, I could probably come up with something. Oh, I, I imagine. Uh, DJ, you're very excited to ride horses in FS19? Uh, Jake, back to Corn Belt. Yes, we have already done Corn Belt, but, uh, for the equipment we got on that map, uh, Corn Belt is probably one of the better fits. Let's uh, clear that recipe out. And then we're going to need reactor casings and fuel rods. No, we got fuel rods. Okay, fuel rods. Or deck. Yeah, that should work. And... Uh, let's see what's there. Reactor control rods. There we go. That's the one we need. So control rods and... Or actually fuel rods and control rods. Oh, uh, that lost Canadian. Ah, they don't uh, blow up. <laughs> What's the fun? Yeah, I don't think they blow up. Not this particular one. Not the extreme reactors one. Uh, there's a couple of different reactors in this game here. Uh, the one I'm building is Extreme Reactors. Uh, like I said, I don't think this one blows up. Uh, you can build the, the Draconic Reactor. That one blows up. That, as far as I know, makes the biggest hole in the game, pretty much. We've done that a couple times, you know, blowing stuff up for fun. Uh, then there's also Industrial Craft. Industrial Craft has nuclear reactors as well. They are a lot more involved, a lot more work. And, yes, they make big holes. Oh, Ben, favorite tractor brand? Easy, John Deere. Okay, so. Going to need, you know what, let me cancel the current crafting. 
Oh, that's fine. That can keep crafting those. Okay. I thought it was still crafting glass yet. Nope. So I want reactor. Nope. I don't want. I want. Come on. Stop. I got, I got a those. challenge for you. I got a challenge for you on Minecraft. Oh. I want you to make what I'm hauling. Uh, well, uh, would the one I have outside at the moment work? Just like this one. Well, it's, uh, I don't know if it's just like it, but. Uh, I mean, I've got a gun turret right here, too. Are you talking about that Gatlin one you, you first installed when it started shooting at you? Yep. That was funny to watch. Oh, it's funny to watch, huh? Yeah, but see, that's just a Gatlin. Mine's a 20. 25 mm. True, I don't think we can make anything like that in the game, but uh We got uh, it's it's called a gun turret. And that's if the uh gun. that's if, a baby gun turret. Right, well if the mobs Use spawn up here it should work. Hello. Yellow. Uh Lost Canadian, I should play Woot more often. Uh, oh, World of Tanks? I don't think I've ever played World of Tanks. World of I... Tanks is trash right now. Oh, is it? Community's toxic. Oh. World, World, World of Ships is a little more fun. Yeah, World of Warships is fine. World of Tanks is very toxic in... Uh, if you, they spam a lot of premium rounds at you, a lot of, uh, uh, high penetration rounds, they don't even aim, they just spam them at you. Oh, wow. Okay, how are we looking for reactor components here? We got a few, uh, fuel rods. Okay, let's head back out to our nuclear reactor site here. I know what Randy should play. Oh, uh, what's that? ATS, so you can pretend you're me. Oh? Okay, so let's see what's here. I'm not sure what kind of spacing we should use for this. I guess we'll figure it out as we go. Are we taking the reactor to the next level? Oh, we're, uh, as far as, I'm going to try to build the biggest one you can. I don't. The only thing is, I'm not entirely sure how big you can build. I thought they went 63 by 63. I don't know what the top height is, though. Uh, oh, is it 60? Okay, well, if it's 63 by 63, folks, I'm going to be uh, quadrupling the size of this reactor, then. Might be wrong. I started off with 32 uh, by 32. Like I said, I, I don't remember how big you can build. Uh, Randy, it's not big enough. Make it bigger. I, 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 I totally agree. Make it as big as, like, a uh, 300 acre field. 300 acre field? Well, there is a build limit. I just don't know what it is. Oh, you'll find out. Exactly. Uh, Jake, you're thinking of using course play for No Creek, seeing the hired worker doesn't know how to keep working the fields straight. Oh, he's got Derby Joe. Oh, uh, Hendrick. Oh, Derby, Der Derpy Joe. <laughs> right. Gotta look out for Derpy Joe. Derpy Joe strikes again. So anyway, we're placing uh, fuel rods here. This is what contains the uh, fuel when the reactor's running. Typically, you place them kind of like a checkerboard pattern, so... Uh, uranium. Yeah, try some jet fuel. See what happens. Jet fuel in a nuclear reactor? That sounds dangerous. Sure. Sounds very dangerous. Oh, it'll mix just fine. 
Oh, for lucky, maybe all the uh, zombies and whatnot that's underneath here will be irradiated. <laughs> uh, let's see what's here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I got six there. Okay. Uh, Jake, you got really tired of fixing the workers? Playing to... Play, oh, work your fields yourself? Okay, just make sure we got this somewhat even here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. I think we got this even. One, wait, no, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we need one more here yet. Oop, not there. Hey, Cameron. Nine, 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 10, 11, 12. Now remember, Randy, I'm watching it, so don't miss a spot. Oh. There we go. Now, where I'm delivering this thing, Randy, I do know a couple guys stationed there. I think I can talk them into uh, setting one of these up and shooting a couple of PCs. Oh, whoa, whoa. No, we don't, we don't need to be shooting no PCs. We'll, uh, we'll shoot up some consoles, though. No, 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 no. PC's gotta go. No, uh, no, console's gotta go. We, we can see how many uh, consoles that 25mm uh, can go through. Hey, Cameron. Uh, well, can we see how many uh, PCs a 25mm will go through? No, uh, there's no interest in that. We can always start with your PCs. Oh, uh, definitely not. Okay, then, this is going to be a lot of uh, control rods, just saying. Well, you forget, I'm a console user. That's a shame. I'm oh, sorry to hear that. Well, you still haven't built the P uh, PC to work in my truck. Uh, I, I told you I'll be more than happy to. Why do you do that in a checking pattern? I don't know. That's just the way they do it, I guess. Now, now when you start filling those up with uh, uranium, do you get uh, radiation sickness? Not from this one, no. This one is not particularly dangerous that I know of, so... Okay, so there's one section done. That's going to take a while to place all this. Once we got the bottom row placed, I should be able to just use the builder's wand here to build up. As the builder's wand will build in a checkered pattern. Hello. Hey, uh, Randy, I got a question. Yes. I'm playing Rathlin Island on my uh, single player, and I can't get the ferry to show up. Can't you get the ferry to show up? Yeah. Uh, do you have the mod in your mod folder? Oh, you have to have a mod for the ferry? Yes, uh, it comes with the uh, map. It didn't come when I downloaded it from the... What's it called? The um, uh, mod list on the TeamSpeak. Uh, oh, if, if you download it with, from the uh, mod list in the TeamSpeak, uh, then the ferry's separate. Okay, so what's it called? Uh, it's, uh, it's ferry something. Okay, thank you. User left your channel. Oh, looking like you could do a 32 by 32 by maybe 48 tall. 48 tall. Okay, so I can uh, I can build a lot taller yet then.
Uh, why did the uranium twins have one? They got a big one. I don't know if it's Max. Okay. Might have to go see what the uranium twins have. I noticed they're uh, still uh, making some very slow progress on filling their tier 8 draconic energy uh, orb. Uh, Cameron, when we do an FS17 again? Oh, I don't know. We'll have to see once here. Uh, let's see what's here. Uh, oh, missing a couple spots over here. Obviously, again, I'm going to have to kick off a pretty large crafting operation here to make this many uh, fuel rods. Hey, Randy, a 12 axle uh, heavy haul truck just pulled into this truck stop. Oh, anything interesting? He's hauling he's all in a giant crane for the railroad. And instead of having wheels or tracks, it has uh, railroad wheels on it. Interesting. Yeah, he's about 16 feet tall. Ooh. Careful going under bridges with that one. You mean that one but by your place? Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. They'd love to hit that one. Well, I'd probably hit it with this load. Probably. Uh, Cameron, we should try Thunder Valley. Yes, a lot of people have been mentioning that one there. And guess what, Randy? There's, there's even a tree farm on that map. A tree farm? Yeah, there's a tree farm on that map. What, what do you do with a tree farm? Uh, grow trees to harvest. Oh, okay. Is this different than just, say, planting trees, though? Well, this I'm already planted when you start the map, and they're spaced out really nicely, too. Okay. Uh, Jeffrey, get ready for tomorrow night's episode. We reached a milestone. Oh. Oh, yes. Good point. Good point. Yes. The uh, the episode. Yep. What? Episode 9 million? Uh, no, no. A, a oh, different... A, di an entirely different type of milestone. <laughs> One I'm sure Jeffrey's particularly proud of. Uh, Cameron, it's the best map. Uh, Trenton, did you see that farming simulator 19 has John Deere? Really? Oh, yes. No, you definitely seen that. Definitely seen that. I think that's like the only thing everybody talks about with the trailer is, uh, ooh, John Deere. Yeah, the John Deere is the only cover the console, not PC. Oh, well, uh, that's okay. We have already got uh, John Deere on the PC for Farming Simulator 17. Yeah. Uh, well, they're mods, so they can't technically do that. Okay, there we go. And I'll probably, uh, probably going to increase the checkerboard pattern here. Hey, I'm not allowed to say it no more, so I got to mess with you somehow. <laughs> You know, John Deere has been in Farming Simulator since 2009. Not actually in the game, though. Well, okay, not part of the official game, no, but... But they are for 19. Yep. Okay, we just about have this done here. I should have, like, counted how many we used here. An exorbitant number of fuel rods here. Did you, did you miss a spot? Uh, I may have. I'm, I'm not sure yet. I, I was kind of taking an overview look there a minute ago. I don't see any missing ones. Okay, how's that look? Do we see any, like, obvious missing spots here? Oh, you do? Yep, over there, over there, right there. 
Oh, I think I see one. I do. There's a missing spot. Not seeing any other ones, though, so I think we might have a good. Now, like I said, we're just going to have to wait until I craft like a whole crap ton of these uh, fuel rods here, so... Okay, let's see what's there. More fuel rods. Still crafting yet. But like I said, folks, I should be able to just uh, use my wand here. And yeah, I can see it'll place them all for me, so I'm just going to have to wait. Oh, I don't know if I can see how many is crafting. I'm going to probably have to go back home and see how many is crafting here. Uh, let's see what the crafting is looking like here. Uh, we got 1,000 left to go yet. So, okay, so it's still going to be crafting for a while. I'm just going to put these all back in here for the moment then. I think maybe we'll uh, go do something else. Oh, I can uh, put these back as well. While we wait for that to finish crafting here. Tape measure, let me put that in there. Face, that should be fine. Put that in there. I don't need that out. I don't need the axe out either. Yeah, we should have enough there. Yeah, let's uh, go do something else yet. I still want to do here in Minecraft yet. Hey, Brendan, please. So where do I want to go about and do this here? Go outside to do this too. Or. Yeah, maybe I'll just pick a room over here. This should work. Actually, no, it might need to be surrounded by dirt. Find out. Maybe I'll we'll do this outside. Okay, outside. Thinking out loud here. Going outside. Hey, Austin. So we're going to need some buckets. We're going to need some flowers. And I'm going to need a diamond. I just think it's a diamond. We'll find out. Expensive. Eh, just a little. Uh, let's see what's here. Well, you know, uh, I'm, I'm probably hurting on diamonds here. I've only got, eh, I've only got 1.2 million diamonds, so I, I, you know, I guess I can afford to use one here. <laughs> one of those mining machines. <laughs> uh, yes. Tall mystical flower, botania. I want regular flowers. Do we not have any regular flowers? I don't know if the Batania ones will work. Oh, good. I do have rose bushes. Okay. Yeah, we'll just take a stack of those. And they'll make a hole. And a bucket or two. For those of you who know uh, modern Minecraft, you probably can guess what we're about to do here. Steal some water from our pool. Hey, Austin. And another bucket of water. And then some rose bushes. Oh, those are some serious bushes. Okay. I did not realize those would be that tall. Well, that'll work, I guess. And one diamond. Oh, and a lightning strike. And fire. Oh, rose bushes on fire. Not, not good. No, stop, stop. Nope. Oh, okay. Oh well. Hello. Hello. Burned up my rose bushes. I finally figured out how to select the channels now. <laughs> ah, I did. Nice. Hey, Trevor. Don't want the the admins that was in here earlier this morning told me to double click on it and I didn't know how so I double clicked on it and finally my friend, I figured out how ah nice <clears throat> I saw your video about the $300 PC build oh did ya 
I couldn't even see how that'd be possible. Hey, it works. Okay, so I'm gonna hop into the Twilight Forest here, and we'll maybe do some exploring. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna set a waypoint here. Let's see what's a new waypoint. Will it run Farming Simulator, like, on, oh, yeah. like, really low settings? Uh, no, it'll run it on medium settings. Uh, at, uh, about 60 FPS. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, so this is a Twilight Forest. For those of you who have never seen this before, it's, uh, kind of more of an adventure mod here in the, uh, Minecraft. Now, first things first, I want to find a couple ravens here so we can get ourselves a map going. And then we'll probably, we'll be doing some more exploring of this here in the future, but just kind of wanted to get started this episode while we're waiting for uh, stuff to craft. Let's see, ravens. Don't see any ravens. Are the Minecraft servers private or public like the farm simulator ones? Uh, it uh, It's public, but it's whitelisted, so... What does that mean? Uh, it means you have to uh, be added to the server before you can join. Ah. Like if I request and get granted, then I can like join the yep. yeah, this is, server? Yeah, if you want to join, you just got to let me know. And then, then I need your uh, Minecraft name. <laughs> oh, I could give you my Minecraft name. I think I... Yeah, I know what it is. Okay. Yeah, if you can just uh, send it to me in a chat then. On TeamSpeak? Yep. You can tell me what it is too, but I just want, if, if you type it out that way, I know I can uh, type it in properly. Yeah, because it has an underscore and... Yeah, okay, yep. I'm going I'm to look at it to make sure it's right first. Let's see. Uh, I did not even get a raven feather from that, did I? Bummer. What is a raven? Like a bird? Bird. Oh, no ravens. Come on now. Are they seriously this hard to find? Yeah, like I said, you can, uh, a raven feather. I believe that's used... Uh, actually, you know, let me look here. Uh, map focus, I think. Map. Oh, uh, let's see what's here. Twilight Force, blank magic map. I think that's what, yes. And that takes a magic map focus, which takes one raven's feather. Which we killed a raven, but we did not get a, uh, a feather out of it, unfortunately. Okay. Did you get the message or I whatever? did, yes. Yep. We also got the maze map, which needs a maze map focus. Or map, interesting. Blank maze or map. Point, is the waypoint like a mod or something that you have to put into the game, or is it like built into the game where uh, you just activate it and create waypoints? Uh, it's part of the uh, Dire Wolf 20 mod pack. I saw those tools you used, like mining in your last Minecraft video, and those things are epic. Oh, yeah, those are totally OP. Uh, that's the Draconic Evolution mod. Hey, Trevor. Uh, so, yeah, if you want to join, you're going to have to have the Dire Wolf 20 mod pack. Uh, probably don't have that, or do you? No, I do not. <laughs> okay, uh, you can download that through the Twitch desktop app. Okay, I'm going to have to download that, too. A lot of times I use the Feed the Beast thing. Yeah, you can go through that, too, if you wanted. I th Twitch, I think, is a little you still easier. Have to download it. Yep. It's a whole lot of mod packs, and you don't have to go searching for them. Right. Oh, look, we're back where we started. Okay, still no where. Come on, where are ravens? I know Is they're there somewhat rare, but all link? for Minecraft, no. Well, yes, there is. It, you got to download it as a mod pack from Twitch. Is there like a channel thing or group I go under, like I do in Teamspeak, to download the mods? Uh, no, not really. It's under Twitch. Uh, if you go to Twitch, uh, then up along the top, I think it says Get Desktop or something like that. That's what it's called. Oh, here we go. Here's a raven. 
Yo, Raven. How you doing? Good. Ooh. Ah, hey, we got a feather. We got a feather. Oh, we got two feathers. All right. There's our there's a rabbit. Is that a Twilight Forest rabbit or a Minecraft rabbit? All I know is it's fast. I can't tell. Here, rabbit. That's not even going to tell me. But yeah, Twilight Forest is really cool here. We got, uh, oh, there's a wolf. But we got uh, wild deer and squirrel. And like I said, this is just uh, like a really cool exploration map. Uh, Michael, yes, we do play Minecraft. Yep. Uh, Jake, yes, Minecraft does have legit rabbits. I just wasn't sure. Oh, hey, there's another, uh, there's another raven. Come out, raven. Yes, I know you're hiding under there. That one did not give me any feathers. My greedy little thing. Okay, let's go back home here. Uh, right, uh, we'll do this. Wouldn't it be easier to download all the mods, like, individually? Or Minecraft simulator or and all that stuff. Uh, the download all works best if you ask me. I mean, like it's I, down, I started the download this morning and it's like two point nine gigabytes out of six point nine right now. It says five days left. Wow, it uh, should not take that long. Uh, Twenty five wet uh, cabri. Thanks for the subscribe. Uh, Michael, you haven't played in over a year. Looks pretty legit now. Uh, well, this is modded Minecraft, uh, and then I'm am using a texture pack as well. So, the uh, Sortex Fanver texture pack uh, just gives it a really nice, clean look to it, if you ask me. Hey, Ethan. Okay, so map focus. Oh, I actually got. Oh, these are just regular maps. Never mind. Yeah, regular maps. Oh, wait, I need to make this first. Uh, that is... Oh, I need to find torch berries yet. Okay, back... Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, my bad. We still need torch berries. Okay, back to the Twilight Forest. Uh, let's see. Torch berries, if I remember correctly, are found in, like, uh, caves and holes in the ground in the Twilight Forest. It's been a really long time since I've played the Twilight Forest. They've really changed it a lot since the last time I played, so... Okay, we need to do... Uh, find a hole in the ground. Where I know we went past some horse. Exactly do on the. Uh, go ahead. Exactly do on Minecraft server. Uh, pretty much anything you want to do with the mods. Shoot a PC, save a console. Yeah, you could if you wanted to, but uh, I, I don't know why you'd want to. Because consoles, the best ever. Uh, no. I, I, sorry. Don't think so. Uh, Torchberry's down here? I doubt it. What are you doing in the woods? Uh, exploring. Oh, have you found Santa, Santa's workshop yet? No, I haven't. I've been looking. Oh, anything down there? Ah, there's diamond ore down here. Oh, there's a chest. Golden carrot. Yeah, I, I jumped down a well. What, you you don't jump down wells? Uh, I can hold my breath, but... <laughs> uh, Ethan, did you know they're cooking out with a new with a new farming sim... Or coming out with a new farming <laughs> simulator, I think you mean. Ah, uh, yes, I did. Farming simulator 19. And hey, guess what? It's going to have John Deere in it. And then oats and uh, cotton and... Who knows what else? And, and Randy's never gonna get it. He's not. Well, that'd be a shame. Moss patch. Oh wait, here we go. This is kind of probably what we're looking for. Hello, torch berries. Well, you'll probably have them before most of us, anyways. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Never know. Why does my thing still say TeamSpeak user, even though I keep changing my name to my like uh, the name I want it to be? 
Um, did you uh, did you change your bookmark? Because that will affect it too. If your bookmark's set to that, it, you can change. Uh, I think you can change your nickname, but I think it'll revert back when you rejoin. Let's see. Yeah, see like see like how I changed mine, but my bookmark has my last name. Yeah, so when Anthony disconnects or reconnects, then it'll just come back to uh, Root as his last name again. Yeah, I've tried changing it, but uh, it doesn't. I don't know how. Uh, I forget how you do that in the uh, that version. Uh, Brian Watkins, thanks for subscribing on YouTube. I think it's almost the same. It's just under some different menus with uh, the mobile version. Hey, User disconnected from your channel. Hey, Randy. Yes. I know how. Oh, okay. I'm always on PC. Hey, you how? Uh, you uh, uh, have to remove that bookmark and then sign in and then change it. Yeah, I create a new one. I'm yeah. not creating. I'm not creating a new one. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. I think this is it. Yeah, there we go. Torchberries. Nice. We got torchberries. All right. Okay, there we go. Now we can make a map. Uh, Ethan, you like the video? Yeah, well, so uh, again, if you're not familiar with this, this is the Twilight Forest. We're going to do an, a, kind of an exploration of it. So now I should be able to make our map here. So map is going to be very critical to uh, exploring the Twilight Forest. There we go, and I'll just put that raven feather back in for the moment. Blank magic map. Let's go to the Twilight Forest. Hey, RD Allen, would you prefer old iron in today's time or new iron in today's time if you had to farm? If had to farm, uh, new. Yeah, you'd want all case equipment. Uh, I can see for miles. Woohoo! Okay, so, uh, advancements. We want to go to Twilight Forest. Uh, with the Twilight Forest, uh, uh, Brian Logan, thanks for subscribe. Uh, with the Twilight Forest, progression is very important, so. Uh, fire it. Oh, it did not give me that advancement, did I? So. Slay the Naga. So we got to start there. Unfortunately, it did not give me that one, though, so I might have to go back and remake my, uh, Give the questing ram what it is missing. Bug stomper. Defeat a spider in a hedge maze. Boots are mine. Minecraft does have legit rabbits. Yes. Now what's legit rabbits? Uh, rabbits. Like rabbits. Uh, fishy production. What's going on now? Uh, we are working on the Twilight Forest here, so apparently I need to remake this because it didn't... Oh, shoot, I don't have any more Torchberries. Uh, it did not update my achievements on that. Shoot. Hopefully this is not going to mess it up then. What I should have done is I should have taken it out when I uh, made it. Shouldn't have left uh, the map focus. On oh, well, anyway, let's uh, see once if this works here. So, we need a Naga. And this map is broken, isn't it? Uh, right, oh, you saw. Okay, that's why I, I we had some uh, double subs there. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, if you notice this here, these black lines means we cannot enter this area because we have not completed the uh, previous objective, uh, which I don't remember the order of these again. But uh, one of the first ones here is to get a Naga. So this map, this map is not oh, updating. Okay. You, you gotta get a what up? Naga. What is that? Uh, let's see. We, yeah, we might have time to do this yet tonight. We'll see once. I'm gonna have to reconnect here so the map uh, fixes itself. So we'll be right back a moment. Into the game anyway, that is. So what's a Naga? Well, you, you'll see when we go to fight it. Uh, Minecraft is, 
Minecraft is itchy. Fishy Productions, that's not fair. You should have bought Minecraft. Uh, Brian, no, we don't have Discord. We just got TeamSpeak. Which I would argue is better anyway, so. Are you going to use your Draconic bow for the Naga? Uh, well, I was going to use my sword. <laughs> That's going to be a okay. little OP, but... Uh, set, set, set up a bunch of Gatling guns around. Oh, you know what? I, I do actually have another sword on me. I can actually use my other sword. I just realized that. Uh, I don't remember... I don't remember which one's the Naga here. Hey, Randy, why don't you build some Gatling guns around before we choke up? Oh, well, that's a good idea. I'll build some Gatling guns. Gatling guns. I think the Naga is right in that red spot there on the lower right. Is it? Uh, no, that is. Uh, is that no? Is that Naga? Maybe it is. I was thinking that was one of the. Uh, <laughs> uh, what's that other one? I think the Naga is a green one, isn't it? Yeah. We'll find out here, I guess. I just don't use throwing knives. Aww. <laughs> use a bazooka. Uh, Ethan, why does Minecraft Holy look different? Uh, well, for one thing, this is the Twilight Forest. And then I also am using a texture pack, so... Can you use a... Uh, an atom bomb? Uh, I, I suppose you could. Like an industrial... Oh, uh, Ethan, Discord is more user friendly than TeamSpeak. Uh, yes and no to that. TeamSpeak is not that hard to use, really. Uh, it's definitely a lot more powerful. Let's see what's there. I do want to see if we can find some more torch berries in a minute. Oh, there we go. What's a torch berry? What's a torch berry? Torch berry is these. Why am I taking damage here? Okay, what if they cause start a fire or something? Don't know. Oh wait, here, here we go. Here's a Naga. Oh, the rain. Gotta look out for the rain. It's it's like acid rain. <laughs> oh, this is cool. I have not seen this before. Uh, thorns. Yeah, look out for that area. Yeehaw. Is what? I'm still waiting to see a knock Did you say to go on Twitch for the mod yes. pack? Yes, yep. So if you got Minecraft, you need to get that set up first. Oh, here we go. Here we go. That's what we're looking for. I don't know if there's an official way into this here. Yeah, I need to get uh, Minecraft added to uh, Twitch first, and then you go over to the mod section and download the Dire Wolf 20 mod pack. I'm where, like, the green is for the where you're at to see you stream and all that, and then it says chat rules and channel info. That's where I'm at right now. Uh, oh, did you download the Twitch desktop? Oh, mods. Uh, is there no entrance in here? I don't remember if there's an entrance to this place or if we just got to break in. I mean, I can fly over the wall. I'm, I'm going to try to do this somewhat legit, even with OP stuff, but... Oh, just break in, Randy. So speaking of OP and... Uh, Oh, I do have my flux infused sword. I thought I had. Hello. Oh. Why did that just break? Oh, that's why. There's a Naga. There he is. Uh, I thought I had more swords on me. I got a fiery sword. Ah, uh, here we go. Evil infused sword. Oh, that thing, that worm looking thing's a Naga? Yep. Here, Naga, Naga, Naga. It looks like it's made out of shrugs. It's burning. Ow, ow, ow. Whoa, that's a, that's some pretty severe damage. Ow. Eat, eat some pizza, you feel better. 
obviously I could do this uh, a lot more OP and uh, use my <laughs> my big sword and probably one hit kill him, but. I could. Uh, one thing I want to notice, you notice how much shorter he is now. Uh, every time we uh, take some health off him, he gets shorter. Also at the top of the screen, there's a progression bar that'll show you his health. Right, that too, yep. So we got him! Goal as achieved. Time to even the scales. I think that gives us, oh yeah, that gives a whole bunch of stuff. We got a bunch of sma uh, stone and... Cheating, cheating. How so? I did not use my OP sword. And even then... Wait, if oh, wait a minute, do you have OP armor? Yes, very OP. Okay then, take that off and then you go up against a uh, um, uh, Naga. Uh, that's okay. I, I rather like my OP armor and OP sword. Now this is probably one of the easier things in the Twilight Forest. Uh, we'll be coming back hopefully in future live streams here and we'll uh, work through uh, some of the other areas here. It uh, There's some really cool stuff in the Twilight Forest here. So uh, The one thing we got to watch out for, unfortunately, with the Twilight Forest... Uh, it, if you're in the Twilight Forest, it is very laggy for all the other players on the server. So, trying to do this at a time here when nobody else is on. Otherwise, yeah, like I said, we'll, uh, we'll lag out everybody else. It's kind of annoying, so. Uh, Jake, wish you had backpacks, uh, backpacks and legit Minecraft so we can go further without emptying out our inventory. Oh, yeah. Not only do we have backpacks, we also got, you know, remote access to wireless system. Well, I don't have it here because it's in the Twilight Forest, but... Uh, you got the Ender Packs, too, which are nice. Oh, yeah, that too, yep. Anyway, let's uh, go back to the Twilight Forest here, clean up our inventory here. Uh, Kevin, when are we playing Farming Sim? Probably this weekend. Uh, if I stream tomorrow... Well, oops, didn't mean to go back in. Uh, if I stream tomorrow night, it'll probably be Minecraft again, most likely. We'll be uh, continuing our work on our nuclear reactor. Clean that up. Naga scale. Naga trophy. Epic shader. And then we also need, uh, still need to craft Do this I have yet. To search? There we go. We completed the uh, achievement. Nice. Uh, and you search for what? Do I have to search for the mod pack on uh. the. Should be like one of the second or third one, first, second or third one from the top. User uh, Jake, when it comes to mine, you have to free up a space or two to get more resources. Hello, Devin. Yeah, anyway, folks, I think on that, we're going to wrap it up here for this uh, live stream. Uh, again, a reminder, if you'd like to join us on Farm Sim, Minecraft, any of the other games we play on the uh, multiplayer service here, just uh, please join us in uh, TeamSpeak. So, yeah, with that, if folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And, uh, till next time. PCs are horrible.